Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about my crypto. Now you can schedule your Ethereum transactions using my crypto. Also, I will talk about how you can get a free EOS account. As well as there's a strategic partnership between HorusePay and Scatter Wallet. And I will touch on EOS Finance and also Bitcoin as well. So uh, just to remind everybody that uh, we are going to have an airdrop coming up. So this is uh, this is for EOS Venezuela. So they're going to have an airdrop uh, coming up on October 1st. The snapshot will be on the fourth week of September. And you can go to airdrop for EOS.com to check out different airdrops uh, coming up. So basically, uh, it looks like you need to register in order to qualify for this airdrop. Uh, I haven't tried that out yet, so you can uh, check it out. And everybody knows that Venezuela is uh, in a total financial collapse, like hyperinflation and all that. So this uh, crypto pesos is powered by EOS Venezuela. This is the airdrop uh, that is going to come up. So make sure you transfer your token out of the exchange to your EOS wallet in order to qualify for this airdrop. So snapshot will be on the fourth week of September. And <clears throat> so everybody knows uh, they undergo hyperinflation and basically the, pay, uh, the paper fiat currency is uh, basically worthless. And just to buy basic necessity, some people have to use Bitcoin uh, and they have to order through the Amazon to get the basic necessity, uh, medicine, uh, groceries, stuff like that. And just to buy uh, groceries, they have to wait for long lines. Like they have to wait for hours and hours just to get groceries. And this is one of the reasons why people get into cryptocurrency is because of the um, fiat currency, uh, irresponsible uh, fiscal policy and also corruption and everything. And they can print all this money they want, but in crypto, uh, Bitcoin, they only have 21 million. Uh, they don't have inflation, but some other token they have, they do have inflation. EOS, they do have inflation. Ethereum, Litecoin, Litecoin they do have inflation. But Bitcoin, there's no inflation. So, um, there's, so you have to think about also cryptocurrency is not just um, for uh, blockchain technology. It's also for use case like uh, against inflation as well. So <clears throat> you can check it out for this airdrop. Also, I want to just touch on Bitcoin a little bit. So um, last week, uh, probably around Tuesday, when the uh, when the uh, cryptocurrency in a free fall, the market cap probably under 190,000. Um, I talk about, I call for there will be a price pump. And indeed, there's a price pump uh, probably on Wednesday or Thursday uh, because of the future contract. So you can go to, uh, this is a C, a CME future contract, you can see the future contract for Bitcoin um, for short position is more than a long position, same as CBOE, they have a short position more than the long position. In order to kill off all this short position, um, they have to pump the price. So that's one of the reasons why the price is get pumped. And um, you can see the BTC USD short is very high at this level. Also, uh, another thing you can go to the BitMEX. This is the uh, basically this is a BitMEX liquidation bot. So they will tell you the transaction liquidating long, uh, uh, ADA they are liquidating long on Tron, liquidating on Bitcoin, and they will sell Bitcoin. And liquidating long on Ethereum, liquidating long on Bitcoin and Ethereum, they will sell it. So liquidating short, they will buy it. Liquidating long, they will sell it. It looks like they're selling it right now. And you can check it out. This is in BitMEX REKT. So uh, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop, giveaway, half fork or ICO. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. So let's get into it. So my crypto, <clears throat> uh, they're going to... Now they already have features that you can schedule your Ethereum transaction on my crypto. I talk about my crypto uh, 
compared to my EFA wallet probably a few days ago. I like my crypto is because their interface is much better. It's more user friendly and they have more update than uh, my EFA wallet. You can go to my crypto and this is the, uh, let's see, let me go back to. So this is the interface in my crypto uh, when you go to the my crypto wallet and is my crypto.com is not my crypto wallet it's my crypto.com make sure you go to the right uh, address don't go to the wrong one so they uh, they will ask you how would you like to access your wallet using ledger treasure or safety mini or metamask or parity parity signer they don't recommend private key key store numeric uh, numeric phrase so if you remember last year my EFA wallet got hacked uh, the DNS uh, domain uh, domain name service got hacked basically even though you type in the correct my EFA wallet they uh, redirect to the uh, hacker site if you during that time you import your private key using key store file numeric phrase or your token probably gone um, so that's why it's important you use your ledger treasure or using meta metamask for to access your my EFA wallet so um, let's get back to the article quickly so basically now you can schedule your transaction so why would you want to schedule your transaction so remember last year when the ico is going crazy and people have to wait for the, the time in order to send out the token to get it into the ico now you can schedule your transaction ahead of time and also maybe you want uh, an ens domain name and you don't want to miss the review period also you want to pay a certain time of, uh, for the subscription and maybe you want to send yourself a reminder in the future so how do you use it so basically you go to my crypto you use the chrome browser and then make sure you log into the uh, metamask wallet so uh, i already logged in this is my testing account so you go to you log in using the metamask wallet and here when you send the uh, ethereum token you send you can toggle send uh, this is not this is send real time you can toggle send later once you put in oops you can put in uh send toggle uh you can send later then um here there's a whole bunch of schedule you can set the date and time you send the token and also you can set the times uh, time zone and also this is the minute uh, that they process the um Basically, this is the range of minutes during which the transaction uh, will be executed. The default is 10 minutes. And also, this is a time boundary. Basically, the time boundary is basically you, uh, the amount of Ethereum you're willing to offer uh, in exchange for the execution of this transaction. Of course, the higher the time boundary, the more likelihood that your transaction will get executed. And also, there's a required deposit. This is just a time note to deposit uh, for a certain amount of Ethereum. Uh, to gain exclusive time window for executing this transaction. So, and this is the uh, future gas price and, uh, and all that. So you can, and then you can schedule a transactions. So, but before you do that, they have to change it to, um, if you're using a MetaMask wallet, uh, let, let, let me get back. So, so how can you cancel and uh, your transactions? You basically go to the uh, chronologic depths. So basically you go to chronologic depths and you search your address. And once you search your address, you can cancel your transactions. So this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool interface. And basically you go to that, find your transaction, and then you can cancel. So, and also another thing, you can earn Ethereum by executing transactions. And this is basically known as a time note. I will uh, talk about that in my next video. So uh, stay tuned. Also, Vitalik, uh, I think you talk about, uh, this is a useful, Vitalik also comment on this uh, Ethereum alarm clock. So let's take a listen. Scheduling been asked for before from the Ethereum community. I know there was a lot of interest in it way back, way back when Piper created his alarm clock. It seems like something that would be very valuable. Is that a lot of the paradigm from Vitalik? So uh, that is the comment from the um, Vitalik.
So here there's also instruction how you can schedule the transaction on my crypto. So they give you very detailed information and everything, uh, which is pretty cool. So here they talk about um, this is you have to pay attention. You have to check uh, check to Coven. Right now the time clock is uh, the schedule the future transaction is in Coven testnet. So you have to check that if you want to schedule a Coven, then you have to toggle to send later. And if you're using MetaMask Wallet, you have to change the network to Coven. So let's get back to the MetaMask Wallet. So I have my testing uh, MetaMask Wallet. So here, basically, you have to change to Coven Testnet in order to use to uh, for schedule the uh, transaction for Ethereum. So excuse me. So you can toggle, and then you do the same thing. So let's go back here. So basically, I talk about that the window uh, is uh, the minimum time period time window required for Ethereum alarm alarm clock is five minutes. Uh, the default is ten minutes. The time boundary we talk about that the amount of Ethereum you wish to offer to the time note for to execute the transaction and also the deposit, the future gas price and all that, and then you can schedule the transaction. So th this is basically I talk about uh earlier so they take uh, they put the time boundary 0 0.02 and then 0 0.03 for the deposit and then you can uh, track the transactions you can uh, using the ether scan or check on the uh, check on chronos and so here this is the uh, from your uh, your address from address and this is contract address this is the sender address uh, the recipient address, not the standard, the recipient address. And here I talk about that you can go to Chrome uh, Dapps to check your transaction and all that, so you can check it out. And you can ch cancel your transactions. So I'll put the link below, you can uh, check it out and all that. So, so the next stop we're going to talk about um, how you can get a free EOS account. So Meet one now they give away a free EOS account. They I think they gave away probably a few months ago for the EOS account. Now this is the second time they give out free EOS account. So you can uh, all you have to do go to Twitter and comment on this tweet and then you contact them in Telegram and you make sure you contact to the and uh, contact Telegram at Alex Meet One and then to get an invitation uh, invitation code to create an EOS account. I got my invitation code last time and I did a demonstration how you can create EOS account using the Android phone. You can check back my previous video how you can create a Meet.1 wallet and I will put the link below as well. Also another good news is uh, Meet.1 is also available on the Apple App Store and not only are they available in Android, they are available in the uh, Apple iOS as well. Also, uh, EOS uh, Finance, the uh, EOS Finance, the high performance uh, decentralized exchange. Um, and basically, this is a trustless trading experience, and they have more highly scalable network peer to peer uh, exchange. They're going to have some announcement probably coming up. So So EOS Finance, they will initially list all the major pairs, uh, EOS USD, BTC USD, or Ethereum USD. And um, eventually they will expand on more uh, another more token offering. And you, they are going to have a new, uh, some type of announcement. Um, oh, they also support the market uh, limit or immediate immediate or cancel or post only orders so they're going to have an announcement in blockchain live in london september 26 they they are going to uh, unveil um, reveal the beta version of eos finance at blockchain live in london september 26 stay tuned also we talk about the uh, rex exchange i probably a few months ago i talked about the um Rex Exchange is a resource exchange. You can share, you can basically uh, lending out your EOS token to earn passive income. So in GitHub, they're working on it. Looks like they're doing, uh, they have some uh, bug fix for Rex texting two days ago. So this is good news to the community. They're working on the resources exchange. So 
So another thing, let's see. Another thing I want to talk about the strategic partnership between HorusePay and Scatter Wallet. So HorusePay is uh, basically is a decentralized global payroll portal. They uh, <clears throat> now they have a strategic partnership with Scatter Wallet, and basically this uh, decentralized uh, global payroll portal they allow global entity to exchange private encrypted and secure data with international payroll uh, uh, vendor using blockchain technology. Also, Scatter provides single sign-on using the asymmetric encryption to lock user into applications without password. So offering multi-blockchain uh, support and two-way communication between authorized applications. Also, uh, Horus Pay also integrating Scatter technology with the Horus uh, Pay um, global payroll Portal and then this enhanced use authentication, time stamping on track the payroll process, approve or decline and payroll uh, and all, uh, those uh, also they have a payroll document as well. So Horsepay does not put confidential payroll information on the public blockchain. Of course, this is important. Those are uh, private data and confidential. And Horsepay uh, also make it possible to track the status of the sensitive payroll documents on encrypted digital ledger. And this will eliminate the spill between employers and payroll providers and remove the need for third party resolutions. So Horace Pay and Scatter uh, Wallet, uh, they, they're going to create a payroll disbursements to allow employer to securely manage their crypto funds and quickly disperse the payroll uh, payment. So this will be the first uh, enterprise ready cryptocurrency payroll disbursements to. And they have uh, more ability to scale, and also the transaction speed of the EOS blockchain is pretty fast. And the infrastructure of HorsePay is built. Um, yeah, they they have more scalability than Ethereum at this time, and also they can process a high volume of transaction without hitting performance bottleneck. So they plan HorsePay. They plan to release the MVP by the end of September 2018, and then a fully beta version by the end of 20. 18. So it looks like uh, the develop, development cycle is pretty fast. So uh, Horsepay, they plan to do a multiple partnership at the EOS DevCon in Tampa, Florida in January 2019. So that is good. There. That is good. There. This is can be put in real world uh, uh, use case. That is uh, good to the EOS community as well. So uh, we have so... Uh, there is so many news coming up every day. I mean, we if, we, if you just focus on the blockchain technology, just forget about the price for now. Uh, I think uh, the future, the blockchain technology has a huge, huge, huge um, uh, potential. So let me know what you think uh, about the uh, Bitcoin price, you know, for the upcoming, the CBOE, CME future contract is going to expire. Also, are you going? Are you going to use the uh, schedule of payment in the my crypto, um, as well as what do you think about the um, Horus Pay? Do you like the idea that they has partnered with Scatter Wallet and then they can do the uh, payroll system and all that? And are you going to get a free EOS account? So take a advantage of this free EOS account and don't forget the. Um, the EOS vendors regular, they are having a, a airdrop for the uh, crypto pesos. Uh, you can you have to register, it looks like. So if you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. Also please comment below as well. And um, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the com upcoming airdrop giveaway or hard fork as well. And make sure you smash the like button and subscribe and this will help out my channel, uh, my ranking in YouTube and I will continue to provide a quality video, quality video for you guys. Remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor investing in cryptocurrency or ICO has inherent risk, please use a due diligence.